Tonight, history is made in Space City. Nearly 55 years after Neil Armstrong took the first steps on the moon, a Houston company called Intuitive Machines has put a lander on the lunar surface. Our Matt Doherty joins us from the Johnson Space Center with what this incredible achievement means for the future of space flight. Matt. The CEO of the company called this a nail biter. Up until the moment, they were able to confirm it had successfully landed on the moon. As the Odysseus lunar lander got closer to making its descent on the surface of the moon, there were problems. The spacecraft lit its engine for an 11 minute burn, one of the last things it had to do before landing. Then communication was lost. The craft's rangefinders weren't working. Odysseus, or Odie as it's been nicknamed, used its experimental LIDAR navigation, which allows it to land autonomously without communication from Earth. The time came and went, and the team on Earth still hadn't made communication with the craft. Minutes later, a faint signal from Odie was detected, and the crew on Earth was able to confirm it had made it. Uh, what an outstanding effort. I know this was a nail biter, but we are on the, si on the surface, and we are transmitting, and uh, welcome to the moon. Odysseus has found his new home. Potentially the first American spacecraft to land on the moon since 1972, since we left in the Apollo program, and it'll be the first commercial company ever. Rice Professor David Alexander is the director of the University Space Institute. He says the mission will set the stage for many more projects in the future. One of this mission's jobs will be to study the patterns of lunar dust. If we're going to build a, a lunar habitat and you basically kick up dust for miles around, you Lunar dust is very dangerous. Engineers from the University of Texas were among those who helped land the craft, and Houston area college students had a hand in building it. The intuitive machines worked with the local uh, San, Jacinto, San Jacinto College, and so these students who were coming out of high school down in, the, down in the, that area, some of them got to intern with intuitive and help build this thing. This mission is the first step in sending astronauts back to the moon. NASA is hoping to do that in 2026. Back to you.